ago, you served my father in the Clone Wars. Now he begs you to help him in his struggle against the Empire. I regret that I am unable to present my father's request to you in person. It was 33 years ago that Princess Leia appeared as a hologram in Star Wars to plead for help. Now at the University of Arizona, science fiction is on its way to becoming science fact. Researchers have developed a technology that could replace 3D displays with holographic ones, potentially ending the rise of 3D TV before it's even really begun. Some time ago, they managed to produce an image capable of refreshing every four minutes, but have improved on that. We've reported that we can, that we can write these holograms uh, at, at uh, like one image every two seconds. So we've, so we've gotten much faster. We've also achieved color in these materials. We've also achieved full parallax. So you can look at it up to down or left to right. The prototype uses a 10-inch screen, but the research group is also testing a 17-inch one. The image is recorded with an array of cameras which view the subject from different angles and perspectives and are then beamed out by lasers to create the holographic one. So the ultimate goal, obviously, is to have a 3D TV that you can put in your living room. But right now, we are not quite to that task. Because first, it's not video rate, it's only two second refreshing rate. But some applications are on uh, our reach, for example, the uh, medical imaging, but also 3D battle map for the militaries. Remote video conferencing, telemedicine, entertainment, manufacturing. The possibilities for this new technology are endless.